Now, the Aam Aadmi Party candidate MS Dheer has been elected as the Speaker of the Delhi Assembly. The opposition BJP had fielded its candidate Jagdish Mukhi in the election. The, con the Congress backed the Aam Aadmi Party's candidate for Speaker. So again, this is the news coming in today that the Ahmadni Pandey's candidate, MS Dheer, has been elected as Speaker of the Delhi Assembly. Yesterday, of course, the Ahmadni Party had an easy day in the Assembly when they won that uh, vote of confidence. But today was expected to be a little more of a challenge for them to win and get their own Speaker. Joining me now for more on this is my colleague Sonal Mehrotra. Sonal, as you were saying yesterday, is no confidence motion sailed through yeah. easily. Yeah. But getting its nominee as speaker over the BJP's nominee, was that more challenging? What happened? Well, it seemed like a challenge until this morning before the Congress, uh, because the Congress kept its card very close to its chest, not disclosing whose favor they'll be voting in. But uh, just minutes before the Assembly got into the session, the Congress uh, came out with a whip order asking all its MLAs to vote for the Aam Aadmi Party candidate. That made it very fairly simple, and we perhaps knew that MS Dheer would be the speaker. In fact, now as we speak, uh, the Assembly is in session, and Mr. MS Dheer is presiding over the assembly. Now remember, Mr. MSD is the first time MLA and yet he's been given with the tall order and the tall task of uh, really running the entire assembly. Uh, he happens to be the senior most member of the Aam Aadmi Party. However, the very first time he's been elected into the assembly. Now, another development which has taken place inside the assembly today, Sarah, has been the fact that before even the assembly got into session, before they got down to voting on the issue of the speaker, uh, the opposition raised several questions over the new house of the chief minister, Arvind Kejriwal. Now, we understand the BJP government, uh, one of the leaders, came, flashed out newspaper reports saying that Arvind Kejriwal, against his views, uh, contrary to the views that he had put forward in the public of going into a humble arm army flat, had actually chosen to go into a 10-bedroom apartment. Now, Arvind Kejriwal chose not to respond to that. However, before leaving uh, from the assembly, just a few minutes back, he did respond back saying that there were two duplexes which have been allotted to him. One with, one with, with the five-bedroom apartment will be uh, the one in which he'll shift in along with his family. Another one, the five-bedroom apartment, is where he will be, uh, he'll be make, converting that into his camp office. So uh, making his stand clear there. But uh, getting back to the main issue of the speaker, really, Sarah, it is very important for the Aam Aadmi Party to have its own candidate uh, sitting in the speaker's chair. Remember, Arvind Kejriwal uh, has said that even though the session will end within seven days, he, uh, he is looking forward to extending the session of the House and passing the, some very crucial legislatures, which include the Jan Lokpal Bill. Now, for that, he will be needing the support of the House and, more importantly, the support of the speaker. So all that is on the front line. In fact, at 4 o'clock, we'll be hearing a press conference on the Aam Aadmi Party and a little later at 5.30, a cabinet soon. So lots on the plate of the Aam Aadmi Party and they're wasting no time and hitting the ground running.